welcome back. So this is my grocery haul this week from Publix. And then a couple of things down there. We did get a couple of the detergent was BOGO. I needed some dryer sheets. And then I got the cream soda Zevia. And then a couple bottles of water there just to have on hand. So uh, not a really large grocery haul, which I love because we're going to use up what we got. And it's the last dairy-free one too. So I just wanted to make sure we just kind of cleaned everything out. So we have got this, we've got this one week left for me anyways. Annie might continue with dairy-free. Um, I did get some more salmon. I'm gonna make some more salmon air fryer bites. And I have some lettuce in there, lettuce leaves that I can kind of wrap them in. It was really good when I did that recently. So I did get some strawberries. I'm gonna be making something today. A video will be coming out soon. Um, Dairy-free stuff. There's a bubble in the label. Does that bother you? That bothers me. Urgh, I want to get it out. Um, so I got some strawberries for that. I got some coffee filters. These are a, my new coffee maker is a basket one, not a cone one. And I had cone ones, but I, I can't even find those. So got some pepperoni just to have um, a sponge to clean dishes. Got some of the non-breaded. These are the hot and spicy. They didn't have the plain, but this is just an ah. Uh, a nice quick option for a meal especially on days when you're super busy like today we're very busy and Andy will eat those um, I also got some of this swerve the allulose blend I like making uh, I like having this on hand I purchased it once when it was on clearance somewhere and now I'm like you know what this is a good way to do the allulose um, anyways, I don't know what I'm saying. Uh, tomatoes, I love those. And since I have the lettuce wraps and stuff, I, I just, I know I'll want some of that in there. This is one of Andy's favorites. Avocado hot sauce. Not the cleanest of ingredients, but it is a nice, it's just a really good kick. And it's got avocado in it. It's amazing. This I'm obsessed with. There is a recipe that I used to make a pasta salad, a cold pasta salad with like bow tie pasta, grapes, chicken, slivered almonds, and poppy seed dressing. It was the craft one. And if my girls are listening, they know it was one of their favorites. I think I did a video on this years ago at the very beginning of this channel because I at least wanted to show some of my family favorites just to have on hand. And this reminds me of that dressing 100%. It tastes almost exactly the same, but it's clean ingredients and dairy-free. I'm obsessed with it. I had it in the uh, pantry and I was so excited when I found it. I bought it on clearance too and now I'm a fan. I don't know why it was on clearance because it's still everywhere. Um, got this Primal Kitchen teriyaki. I'm just going the easy route for the salmon air fryer bites. I prefer, someone asked me recently, do you prefer this or the marinade that I have on the website. I prefer my marinade. I prefer it. I do. And it's very easy to make, but just for convenience right now, that is easy and it's still good. I got this Primal Kitchen olive oil or avocado oil and I was very excited. It was like 13 bucks for this, but on the outside, there was this little coupon hanging around the neck that said $2 off. So I needed it. And then I was so excited, I grabbed the last one that had that coupon. I got some of this peanut butter for a recipe also. This is this Teddy brand. It's very clean and just, I think, so much more affordable than others. Uh, dry roasted peanuts and salt, that's it. So I love that. I only got a couple of nut pods. We still have a couple left. I still have a little bit of almond milk. So for our coffees this week, we should be good because even though I'm doing okay with the coffee, I'll probably go back to half and half. Who am I kidding, right? Got some banana extract for something coming up. Stay tuned. Got some hearts of palm. Those are a delicious thing just to eat out of the can. I needed a coconut cream, not coconut milk, but coconut cream for a couple of things I'm making this week. Stay tuned. It's part of the video I was talking about a minute ago. Needed some minced garlic. I've been using a lot of this lately, especially in those marinades. Usually I get the smaller jar just for space and convenience. I got a little bit bigger. They make them even bigger than this, but I don't have room for it right now. Um, I got the coffee that was BOGO, uh, Green Mountain. I got a decaf breakfast blend for Andy and then, what was this, like a vanilla caramel, something like that. Um, I got this to clean the bathroom shower. 
and I got a new toy to do the bathroom shower too, like uh, to clean it. It's that like viral spin scrubber. Do you guys have one of these? I don't know if this is the viral one, but Andy found it. And I said, get that for me. I'm so excited. And so he got it. And then um, we're gonna clean the shower here in a little bit. And then I got some eggs because Andy really loved the egg salad. So I'm probably gonna cook up just a dozen of them already just for that. And then we'll go from there. So like I said, it's not a really big grocery haul, but we're just gonna use up. I just went to Costco, remember? So I have a ton of meat, a ton of pork belly. Got a couple of good ideas and from things we're gonna be making next weekend, especially once we have dairy back going on. Oh, just stay tuned, stay tuned. And of course I will share my results if there are any from being dairy free this month. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you like this video. Hit the like button, share, subscribe, make sure your notifications on and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.